we got a really special one this time. Civil War hardtack. We're going to first start with this container here. Yeah, check that out. This was excavated from a hut site in Eastport, Missouri from a large cavalry camp. These are carbonized pieces of hardtack, completely inedible. Okay, it'd be like eating glass. There's an, it's not food anymore. It's like a fossil. These are going to be donated to the Military Ration Museum for display. They will not be eaten. But we do have something pretty amazing here where it looks like it may still be edible. And this is a near complete piece of hardtack packed by G.H. Benton Company, Milton, Massachusetts in the summer of 1863. It's one of the few remaining of its kind. I gotta give this a whiff. Ooh, yeah, it smells like, <laughs> that's cool. It smells like old mothballs and like library books. It's pretty amazing. Look at that old label. Check that out. It's very faint. Oh, with that being said, I'm just gonna have to. Oh, hmm. It kind of tastes like, it tastes exactly the way it smells. It tastes like mothballs and um, old library books. Hmm. That's not very good. Well, what is hardtack anyway? It's a thick cracker made of flour, water, and occasionally some salt. You know, and when properly stored, it'll last for years. Look at that weird red thing there. I mean, this thing's like incredibly preserved. Look at that. That one piece flaked off. Had to try that out. Anyway, well, it could be prepared cheaply. It would last for, you know, years. And it was one of the most convenient foods for soldiers, explorers, pioneers, or anyone else who needed to be able to pack light and move fast. So, and this was about as good as it would get sometimes. The problem with these is soldiers would complain. They could eat like 10 of these things and still be hungry. Also, they complained it was so dense and hard, it was almost impossible to chew through unless they took the butt of their rifle and smashed it or dropping into some coffee or just hot water or a soup. Now here's another interesting fact. These things used to get infested with maggots or weevils and you know these things would be coursing throughout the, the hardtack and it's all the food that these guys would have sometimes. I mean it's not like they could get a resupply so easily all the time. Sometimes they could but sometimes they couldn't. They'd have to still drop this maggot infested hardtack into their coffee and, um, and the maggots would float to the top and they'd have to scrape them off. It's all you could do. Alright with that being said Let's get this out on the top of a really old World War I mess kit tray. Nice. All right. So the World War I mess kit top, you know, the, the tray top, this is as good as I could get on that for age. You know, I could not find any old Civil War trays, but I did find some nice Union pewter inlaid silverware. So, hey, not bad. Look at that. Old school. Nice three prong fork. Looks like a little mini pitchfork or something. All right, so we're gonna be trying this the old fashioned way first. Then I'm gonna dip some of it into coffee and soften it up and see if that makes it any more palatable. All right. Okay. Well, I think it's safe to say this is probably the oldest cracker ever eaten. All American, eaten history, one ration at a time. Oh. Hmm. It tastes like mothballs. Hmm. Well, it's very bland. It literally reminds me of something from elementary school that I smelled in a library. Hmm. This still has flavor. I mean, predominantly mothball and old library book paper, but I can taste a little bit of a bread like cracker kind of deal. Mmm. Yeah. Well, it's not very good, but if you had to survive off this, if you're out in the field and this is all you had, I mean, what are you going to do? 
just gotta survive. This is like the original military ration. Oh. It's so hard. I feel like I'm gonna crack my tooth. Sorry for talking my mouthful again. Yeah. We're going to have to drop this into that coffee. Because this is just... This isn't happening. I'm not doing any more bison. Well... Hmm. I always wondered... What old mothballs tasted like. No, I've never actually wondered that. But now I know. Or at least I got a fair idea. Well, that was weird. Ugh. Look at that thing. I mean, like, I don't know. Ugh. This water smells weird. All right, so let's drop this piece. Let's crumble it up as best as we can and drop it in there. And, um... I'm gonna soften up as best as we can here, I suppose. I don't know water's got a weird tinge to it. Oh well. well it doesn't matter, I just ate a 153 year old cracker. You know, weird little bit of tinge in the water, I suppose that's like least of my worries. Hey, I get to actually use that silverware. Let me check this out. Uh, well, you can spear it as much as you want, but. It's got to soak a little bit. Ugh, still got bits of that stuck in my teeth. All right, let's see if this is like softened up at all. Like, kind of. Wait. Like, not a whole heck of a lot. Here, yeah, let's just. I mean, get some hardtack soup going on here. This is probably the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. Along with definitely being the oldest thing I've ever eaten. Oh boy. Try and fish that out of there without like dropping it or something. There you go. Uh, bon appetit. So, um, see if this like, oh geez. Alright, let's try that again. See how much this softened up after several minutes. Uh, now it actually tastes worse. It tastes like rubber. I literally feel like I'm biting down on like a an eraser or a like rubber. Hmm. It really does have an industrial kind of flavor and smell to it too. Like maybe like like rubber tires or something. Hmm. Wow. Anyway. I don't have Civil War coffee. But I do have 30 year old coffee. So let's just go for that. These guys, they dropped in their coffee. So should I. Ooh. This has got to be the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. Well, one of them. All right. Well, while I wait, let me at least have something halfway decent here. Some coffee instant. Nothing beats coffee instant type one. Especially when you got a 152 year old piece of cracker down the bottom of it. I like the fork. You know, I think I'm going to start using this thing for breakfast. Jeez. Bottoms up. Hmm. 
preoccupied for a minute chewing. Not bad. Is it the worst thing I've ever eaten? No. I've had biscuits that were 65 years newer that were worse than this, so. Goes to show sometimes, especially if it's stored properly. In this case, I mean, it smells and tastes like mothballs. I can assume it was actually stored in an area with mothballs to all those years, you know, to prevent, you know, various critters from coming in and eating the stuff. <clears throat> stored all those years. Still edible. At least I think. I don't know, I think this has got to be the most enjoyable cup of coffee I've ever had, though. Because it's really balancing out the, uh, that rubber tire, mothball, tearing the corner of a page of a really old library book and just kind of taking a little bite kind of flavor. And, um, you know, it's that nice chicory undertone of that coffee instant. I mean, it's just a really good coffee. I think there's still a piece left in there. Yeah, there is. Cool. All right. That's all. I'm not eating any more of that. The rest of it, I'm going to break in half. Part of it's going to one collector. Excuse me. The other is going to the Military Ration Museum, which we already have whole complete pieces of hardtack with Providence, just like this one. So this isn't the end of the world. Okay, yes, it could have gone to a museum. Part of it will be. Part of it's being shared here. A lot of people don't know about hardtack, so what better way to show it, present it, eat it. I've been hungry before. And never so hungry where I felt like I had to eat a 152 year old cracker. Oh, there was sediment in the bottom. Hmm. Well, that just about concludes it there. All right, so the rest of this is all going to the Military Ration Museum. Anyway, this is Steve1989 off MREinfo.com. Hope you liked the video, and thanks so much for watching. I'll be coming back at you with something new. We're old. Alright. Cool.